Hello, everybody. Jim here. Welcome, welcome back. Today in MuseCore, it's all about rehearsal marks. By the end of the video, there'll be at least three different concepts you'll get down. One of them, how to get the rehearsal marks on your music, some of the basics. Learn how to customize. Learn how if you want numbers or letters or even both. Learn how to get a oval or a circle or a square. I believe more of a circle, by the way. And then also the big one is tips on how to have different rehearsal marks between score and parts. So let's go. To get the rehearsal marks, you're going to go ahead and click on uh, F9, go to palette, and then look for text. After text, you'll see B1. By default, when you drag and drop it to a note, you'll see a letter. And before I forget, a shortcut for rehearsal marks is Control M or Command M. What happens, by the way, when you do that, if I do Control M, you just have something blinking. So then you have to put the letter name in. For now, I'm just going to go ahead and launch this. I'm doing rehearsal marks really close together so we can see the screen easier. Obviously, this would be very way, a very interesting way to put rehearsal marks in a real piece of music. I would like to do now is decide that I want to make them numbers. No problem. We're going to go ahead to the first rehearsal mark. And then I, for me, I control A and I'll put number one. After that, we're going to go to tools. Go all the way down where it says resequence rehearsal marks. Now they're numbers. One, two, three. Easy as that. Now I'm going to say I want the first two rehearsal marks as numbers and then letters. Could work for many reasons, worksheets, what have you. So what I'm going to do is make that a number one. And then I have to select the measures and MuseScore will grab the rehearsal marks above. There you go. So now, as you can see, it's one and it's B right now, but I'm going to ask MuseScore to make it one, two, and then C. We go back to tools. We go to resequence rehearsal marks. One, two, C. Pretty good. Do you see? Sorry. When we want to change sizes, it's pretty easy. We're going to go to format. And then after clicking on format, you're going to go to style. You'll see score. Scroll all the way down and you will see the rehearsal mark. I'm just going to touch upon a few things, the size, offset, and then some other basics. I don't know. Leave a comment below, by the way. I don't know if line spacing does anything with rehearsal marks. Follow staff size. I keep that checked. That's awesome. If you don't, you can get collisions pretty easily in the future. And if you want to make the rehearsal marks bigger, the size is here. Self-explanatory. But if you don't like what you did and you forget, just click this button and that will give you the default. Coming down to the offset, X is horizontal, Y is vertical. Sometimes I need to move, I think I was playing around, sometimes I need to move the uh, score down a little bit because of whatever else is happening. So I'll go to the Y, I'll click the down arrow. Awesome. Self-explanatory, I like the circle, it works for me. You can mess with the thickness and the margins, really cool. You can really do a lot with MuseScore and make it professional. Notice down here, by the way, apply to all parts. Ah, why can't I? Well, because we have the score open right now. So we're going to click out of that. And now we want to get to parts. So since this is a video on rehearsal marks, I've already done the part thing. Leave a comment below if you need help about laying parts out. Now I'm going to open up the flute. I'm going to go back to format, but there's a quick way of doing it. Some of you might not know. You're going to take your mouse outside the score, right mouse click, click style, and it'll bring you back exactly where you're working. Pretty cool. We have size 11. Let's go ahead and exaggerate and make this smaller. And you can even, for a part, you can even select none. I don't know why you would, but you can, and that won't affect the score from what I understand. Let's say you just click OK. I'm going to make this smaller so we can really, whoops, line spacing we're not using. I'm going to make this smaller so you can see. Well, not see. I'm going to click OK on the flute part. Now I'll go to clarinet part. I only changed one part. Sometimes you do need to make something small for everything to fit. Like if you have a guitar part with fretboard frames, that is an example of how to do that. If you wanted to switch all the rehearsal marks and parts the same, no problem. We're going to go ahead and just give it to about 11, uh, 11 apply to all parts, and then click OK. So we have our clarinet here, our flute, pretty much the same, bigger in the circle. Another thing that I've done is if you're working with a busy percussion part, it's very similar to going to style. Just in case if you want to prefer this method, you're going to click on the first rehearsal mark. And go to right mouse click, select all similar elements, and then inspector time, F8. 
and then you can over here mess around with the rehearsal marks that way. Let me know if you got value out of this video, leave a comment below. Let me know how you work with rehearsal marks. That would be great. And don't forget, support the channel by giving a thumbs up, making a comment what you liked, what you would like me to do. And if you're very interested and you're enjoying the value of my videos, definitely subscribe so you don't miss out. Until next time, I wish everyone well and happy music making. Bye for now.